Let us understand, dispersion of white light by prism. What is dispersion of light? The splitting of a beam of white light, into its constituent colors, when it passes through a glass prism, is called the dispersion of light. Let's do an experiment, to understand the dispersion of white light, by a prism. To do this experiment, apparatus required a glass prism, and screen. Take a glass prism, and allow a narrow beam of sunlight, to fall on one of its face. Turn the prism, slowly to obtain a light, on the nearby screen. The prism, splits the incident white light, into a band of colors. The various colors seen are, violet, indigo, blue green yellow, orange and red, vibjaya. The splitting of the light ray occurs, because of the angles of bending for each color. Different colors of light, while passing through the prism, bends at different angles, with respect to the incident ray. This gives a formation of spectrum. Here the red light bends, the least and violet bends most. Recombination of the spectrum of white light. Newton was the first person, to use a glass prism, to obtain the spectrum of sunlight. He tried to split, the colors of the spectrum of white light. Further by using another prism, but he was unable to get any more colors. Then he placed a second identical prism, in an inverted position with respect to the first prism, allowed all the colors of the spectrum to pass through the second prism. He found a beam of white light, emerging from the other side of the second prism. This observation gave Newton, the idea that, the sunlight is made up of seven colors. Then he concluded that, any light that gives a spectrum similar to that of sunlight, is often referred to as white light. Now let's study about rainbow formation. How does the rainbow forms? A rainbow, is a natural spectrum, appearing in the sky, after a rain shower. It is caused, by the dispersion of sunlight by water droplets, present in the atmosphere. Here, the water droplets act like small prisms. They refract and disperse the sunlight, then reflect it internally, and finally refract it again, when it comes out of the raindrops. Due to the dispersion of sunlight, and internal reflection by the water droplets, we see the rainbow colors. 